Here I want to thank uh, those who made this event materialize. Uh, Robert Shibatani, Pete Monadelli, Roger Canfield, Joe Nastel, Meg, Meg Campbell, and uh, I want to thank Local 185 for their generous support. Now let me say a few words about who's here today, well, or who will be here today. We're not all here yet. Um, we'll have uh, Norman Gonzalez from uh, the Congressman McClintock's office. He's the Community Outreach Director. We have with us already here at least Lisa Busher. Where are you, Lisa? Uh, District Director for the Representative Doug Malta. We also have. Uh, Yeah, but that was out of I was going to give Zachary, Zachary Yates next because he's, he's a, oh, Zachary's here. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know you were here. Uh, field representative for Representative Omni Vera. And then uh, I'm trying to get these in order. Then, then Christine, <laughs> senior, senior district uh, representative for Senator Jim Nielsen. Uh, Ken Vogel is here from uh, Supervisor District 4 in San Joaquin County. We have Ruth Alves, aide to uh, Supervisor Jim Holmes. They're in the back. And uh, Linda Brown, field representative for Supervisor Kirk Mueller. And uh, I don't know, is uh, Sean Bigley here from uh, City Road? So, uh, not here yet. Okay. Throughout the day, you'll hear us refer to um, Auburn Dam in two different ways. Uh, we've come to view it as a pulse of upstream storage. Uh, although Auburn Dam was authorized in 1965, it is still authorized and has uh, suffered many starts and stops along the way. However, there's new and important environmental and regulatory changes that have occurred over the intervening 45 years. Uh, the first and most notably is uh, with the in international concern for climate change and thus reduced snowpack, water storage projects and are now receiving renewed interest. On the flip side of that, with bigger and bigger storms, one of the metropolitan areas has also become a concern. Second, with the increased delta flow objectives, there will be an impact on the water agencies currently taking water from the uh, Delta, which would include many of the Bay Area counties. Third, in the, in the current season, it's apparent that the Folsom Reservoir is inadequate for stabilizing the lower American River in order to pre prevent minimal flows and to maintain lower water temperatures. You can see the picture we have up here in the corner. I wanted to I could load that for some reason on the PowerPoint, but that's a picture of the uh, American River at the Watt Avenue Bridge a couple of weeks ago. Um, Folsom by itself is entirely inadequate without additional upstream storage. Another very much uh, ignored benefit would be year-round recreation for both Auburn and Folsom Reservoirs. So no more pulling your boats out of Folsom in the late season. A long time ago in another life, I got a degree in environmental studies. So now I'm excited about the new environmental benefits that this project will be, uh, that will be presented today to this project. Many of the benefits are a result of the proximity of Folsom Reservoir to the Delta and the stabilization of Folsom Reservoir's capacity. So related benefits include stable flows and temperatures to the lower American River, as I said, Holds flows for delta regulation, added supply for meeting the goals of the EDCP, and uh, like I said, the year-round recreation for both Auburn and Wilson Reservoirs. Most of you in the room are, oh, the microphone. Most of you in the room are, are water professionals, and I sort of got into this recently as a, I guess you could say as a hobby, um, most of my career was with the Department of Toxic Substances Control, so if you ask me about hazardous waste, I might know something. But the, uh, the state and federal water projects and uh, water rights law are fairly new. Uh, along with that, I wanted to say that uh, 
there is a door prize for whoever can figure out what the initials uh, behind my name mean. So uh, you can you'll have all day to think about that. Over the years, I'm sure you've all had discussion about the merits or lack of merits of this particular project. On one occasion, I was talking to a friend and she said, well, you shouldn't build in the floodplain. And I said, you're right, but once you do, you have to protect it. Originally, this project was called the, Folsom, the Auburn Folsom South Unit and was supposed to deliver water to San Joaquin County. In light of changing conditions, the significance of Auburn Dam and the Lower American River and the Delta, now the Folsom South Canal is dead, but the tunnels are alive. And the timing of water is even more important than whatever it was. Nowadays, the Auburn Dam can not only provide flood protection for Sacramento and green power for California, but also cold water for Delta fisheries and time release stored water through Folsom to protect the Delta. The use of American River water with the proposed Delta projects is more important than ever. When we look at the uh, changes in the Delta and the termination of the Folsom South Canal, uh, Folsom upstream storage is uh, more important. Try to, with me, picture the Folsom Reservoir and then sort of looking upstream because that's, that's what we tended to do more recently. Um, furthermore, in the intervening years, dam construction has enjoyed many innovations with regard to safety and cost savings. One example is the roller compacted concrete. We'll have uh, one of our speakers for this afternoon is from the Division of Safety of Dams, and uh, he'll go through some of that. The power industry has also made remarkable progress in the efficiency of hydroelectric turbines for the generation of electricity. <coughs> Originally, Auburn Dam was supposed to produce 200 megawatts of power, but with the new design, it's uh, estimated to be able to produce 800 megawatts of clean power. This amount of power would enable uh, the operator to net in excess of $120 million a year uh, in electric, electric sales uh, at the current rates. Finally, upstream storage will increase the service life of Folsom Dam by reducing the altitude from which the water comes. Otherwise, the service life of Folsom would be would, would only be about 100 more years. You have uh, the bios of our speakers in your program, so I'll dispense with long introductions 